We are fortunate this morning again to have Pierre Luigi Oliverio, Councilman for Willow Glen, uh, joining us talking about the politics around station number six. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, fire station number six? Sure. Uh, historically, it's been here in uh, Willow Glen for approximately 70 years. It's uh, the fourth busiest station, I believe, in San Jose. Uh, it has uh, done a great job at providing services to the community. About 85 to 90 percent of the calls the station goes on are medical. Only about 10 to 15 percent are actual fire calls. So I understand that in 2000 there was a survey that was done by the City of San Jose to take a look at the services provided by the fire stations. Can you tell me about that survey? Uh, in the year 2000, the survey determined that people uh, felt strongly about public safety, both police and fire. Uh, that was also the same time that uh, members of the public, residents voted to pass a bond. And that bond was to pay for public safety improvements of capital in nature, whether it was expanding the fire safety network by building uh, fire stations and or the police substation in South San Jose. And then in 2002, there was a bond measure passed to actually implement that plan, wasn't there? Correct. And that's where we, the San Jose has gone through and uh, built new fire stations in various parts of the city. And in addition, as mentioned, the police substation. So we were supposed to end up with a fire station 37 to the Willow Glen area, correct? Correct. The voters were given a list of new, new fire stations that would happen, and the other one was to serve the southern Willow Glen area, pretty much south of Kurtner, south of Houston, Coke, Foxworthy. Now, that fire station today is not in existence. What happened to the money? Well, that's a problem when you have... Uh, in, in the line of projects when people change the priorities halfway through. We had a station number two, which was on the eastern part of San Jose, that uh, they really wanted to rebuild it. And that rebuilding costed a lot of money. Um, and But what it, when you rebuild it, it doesn't necessarily get you any more fire protection because you're just putting a pretty building up. Uh, but what's more important is expanding the footprint to provide more of the fire safety. So because of decisions like that, we then ran short of money and the fire station was supposed to go, you know, south of Foxworthy Avenue. But in the end, if you didn't have the money left to acquisition land, you were faced with what to do. So the idea was, well, gee, the city has land here at the senior center slash park. Let's use a portion of that land to save the acquisition of land costs and then put the fire station there. And if we make it big enough, maybe we can consolidate stations which was uh, the, a thought process that was going on through management. Yeah, but in order to, so that, that took care of the land, but in order to actually build the building, they were going to sell fire station number six, correct? Yes, uh, they had put the selling of fire station six into the budget. And uh, that is a process that we changed uh, because you shouldn't be able to close a fire station on any given Tuesday or part of the budget process without at least telling people what you want to do. So myself and the mayor passed a new policy that says, hey, if you want to close a fire station, number one, you got to notify people by mail in the service zone area that the fire station serves have two meetings in the evening on separate dates, and then have data, data-driven model that shows these are the calls for service, this is the response times, et cetera. It shouldn't be closed just because of a consolidation of a, a budget line item. So with the, um, the fire station then, number six was taken off this chopping block, and, and where are we with uh, fire station 37? Uh, fire station 37 is, uh, will eventually go out to bid and we will uh, have a fire station there probably in three to four years, depending on the process. We're currently short on our public safety bond. Uh, and again, because we've, the council, and I voted against it, chose to, uh, you know, rebuild some fire stations. And I, my viewpoint, unnecessarily, we then sacrifice the ability to build stations in areas that did not have proper response time. Fire station number 37 would go in the uh, Lincoln Glen Park area. How much of that park will we lose for that new fire station? We won't actually use, lose any portion of the park or the community center, but we will lose the small parking lot on Lincoln Avenue will be where the fire station will go. The star car is something that uh, the extra person here as well as something you've worked on uh, adding to fire station number six. Uh, and you talked about or put forward a proposal regarding the uh, library and cutting back the hours there in order to pay for that additional person. Uh, what, what came of that? Well, you know, it's, it's a tough situation. At the end of the day, you have to make decisions. You just can't say things to make everybody happy, and we have that at all levels of government. Uh, but what, we, what I proposed was, listen, public safety is important. 
people tell us that, whether it's through polls or anecdotal comments, and that we just can't ask, ask, ask. So what we, what I proposed was, listen, we're willing to take our cut as well, and so we'll close the Willow Glen Library on Mondays to allow for the extra person to be in an ambulance type vehicle to take care of people that are 911 calls. Uh, that proposal unfortunately did not happen with the passing of the budget in 08-09, um, but we have a fire station here. Well, again, we uh, thank you very much for the time and effort that you and your staff have put in and, and uh, for saving uh, station number six for us. Thank you for joining us here at Willow Glen in thank Motion. Thank you for keeping Willow Glen in motion.